What did you do? No, don't you, don't. Don't judge me. It's gonna look amazing. You said you liked it when I glowed. Oh my gosh, this is the wrong, why is this doing this? Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It legit looks like I just poured all the self tanner on me or just laid out for an incredible amount of time in the sunshine without SPF on, which is a no-no. Um, I just put so much bronzer on, got very carried away, and now I look a little crazy starting this very crazy video. We are going to dive into bags and history of the makeup room of Tati and go through crappy products together because she needs to clean house. Spring cleaning is in full effect, I will have you know. I've enjoyed all of this, exploring it, but I didn't like it on me. Um, some of the stuff I've talked about, some of this is like um, like one of those, wait, I, I don't wanna go too far with like, the, I'm not subtweeting, I'm like sub videoing. Spring cleaning, sometimes, you know, making room for new is a good thing. And some of this stuff I have tried and thought was just like, no. Like really dramatically I don't like. Dare I say, I hate. I have to give my real opinion and just give you guys the high points, low points, and why stuff didn't work out for me. And usually that's kind of like, these products I dislike or whatever. And then sometimes there are products that literally have me going, like who, like, like, please tell me who liked that. You know, like, I just want to know. I want to, I want to know who you are. Kind of in like an actual judgy way. Like that does happen where I'm just like, you like that? What? Um, but most of the time it's like, oh, you have oily skin. Makes sense why you'd like it. And I wouldn't. We're starting this off very rambly. Sorry, sorry. We're going to hop to it because I need makeup because clearly she does not match. So I'm gonna jump right in. You will have to like sell your soul for this primer. I've talked about this being overly expensive before. Their hyaluronic serum is crazy good, but this is just not very good and I just don't get it. It's $85 and you get not even a full ounce. Who do you think you are? You're all for show. Your other friends in your collection are so much better. What is this? Active ingredients, pearl pigments, modified rice starch, lactil, Hyaluronic acid, vitamin B, urethra. That's not what it is. Okay, we're just gonna put this on. It's like lotion. Mommy, am I beautiful? I was pretending to dance to music that you can't hear because I can no longer even hum a song without having the greedy, greedy music labels take all of my AdSense even for 2.2 seconds of humming a song. Like I'm all about fairness. Like if you take a little bit of mine and like I'm giving you promo or whatever, like let's just share, like let's like work it out. But to be like steal everything, oh, I can't. And I'm having to like watch myself so much. I'm gonna pretend I'm listening to unreleased Taylor Swift. We're gonna go in with Glamouflage. I'm gonna use a sponge that I despise. I wrung out ugh, as much, mm, those biceps. Um, I got rid of so much water in here, I thought, but it's still like soaking wet. This is not as porous as a beauty blender. It won't do its job. This is from the cream shop and it just is pointy, awkward to hold and really hard to blend things in. So it just, oh my, like what are you, what, ow. I'm suing. Um, it's literally, what is this point? Who, why do you need this? The issue that I have with this one right here is that it is thick and so it can tend to build up on the skin really quickly, but it doesn't have enough pigmentation in it to really cover everything. So whenever I can see this poking through right here, I know that I need more pigmentation from my foundation if I'm gonna be especially doing glam makeup. This is literally called glam Glamouflage. It is supposed to be full coverage, it's not. I like the way that it applies and I like the way that it blends. It just is not one that you want to layer up a whole lot because it will start to grip in weird areas. Like it's kind of doing that right through here. And then it does settle quite a bit. So it's just not my favorite favorite. I've tried a lot worse, I have. Um, but I was kind of staring at this and I was like, let's just kind of give it one last go, one last hurrah. Hurrah. Oh my God, why do I always move around so much when I'm doing this? 
Oh my gosh, when I got sick, I picked at my face. Like I do not have an active breakout on my face, but like I scar so easily that this, 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 those are scars. What have I done? Why do I do that? I literally can pinch my skin and I will scar. And for me, when I'm on antibiotics, like I don't break out from the antibiotics, but when my like stomach is balancing after the fact, because you're depleted of, you know, all bacteria, good and bad. I'm like taking a lot of probiotics and it just, I don't know. I just started freaking out about my skin and I picked at it and I'm so mad. And so now I do notice that I like a little more coverage over here. Those will fade through skincare and just like keeping hands off from my face. And also Halo Beauty will help. I don't hate you. I love you so much. Hair, skin, nails. I currently am taking Kiwi and it does not have biotin in it. Uh, it does not have hair regrowing ingredients in it. Kiwi is just skin. And that one just saves me every single time. We're gonna move right into a concealer that I don't know why I still have this. Wow, when did I use this? That's really dark. It stinks too. Well, that just looks terrible. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more foundation. The firming concealer I liked, but then you guys, I mean, the competition is so steep. There are so many good concealers out there. My number one spot has rotated. So now I really love Jeffree. I still love Shape Tape. I really, really love Dermacol for spot correction, NARS for spot correction. Maybelline Age Rewind is so good still to me. And there's so many just front running, awesome, great concealers that the rest of them, I'm kind of just like, whatever, bye. And that one right there was kind of like trying to be shape tape, but just didn't give you enough of a punch and did end up creasing. And that's why I didn't like it. So that's why it was in the bad bin. And moving right along, we're gonna go into a newer purchase of mine. I picked this up thinking that it would be the best ever um, because literally I love Dermacol concealers. They're up here. Um, I just picked up some more for the face. It's technically sold as a foundation. You can buy it off Amazon. I'll link below a video where I do try it on as foundation. But when you use it as spot correction, it's so pigmented and it blends out so nicely if you want it to, or if you just want to pinpoint a particular area, you can do that too. I had never tried anything else from them. So I was like, this has to be so good. Hello, welcome to my nightmare. This is the worst powder I've ever tried. Do you remember the last time I did one of these? I did like a full face of products that I absolutely hate and my makeup looked a wreck by the ending. Oh, it looked so bad. And then I shared with you guys that I was launching my own brand in that video. And so of course, like all of these websites picked up my photo literally with my makeup looking so rough and so bad using all the products I don't like. And so I'm literally like, and it's like beauty guru Tati Westbrook is launching her own brand. She prides herself on her knowledge of product and knows what's good and what's not. And like there's a picture with me in like terrible, awful makeup. Ugh. The reason I don't like this powder, it sinks in really quickly to areas and not others, and it gives a very uneven finish. It will ruin even the best concealer, even the best foundation. I don't know what is in here that grips and grabs and makes everything look blotchy, but this one, I actually, seriously, I would not recommend this. <laughs> Bye. Um, okay, so moving on, we're gonna dust our Bake Off. Product idea. I'm gonna come out with a salty baking line for makeup. Like it's gonna be like chicken pot pie. I'm gonna do it biscuits. Hello. Hi. Booga, did you get a bath? Oh my gosh, let me give you a big bronzed hug. Come here. Look at Puka. Hi. Oh, don't you look so handsome. Look at that scar, you guys. He got like cut up, dude. You're better now, right? Yeah. Bye, mommy. We love you. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. You woke him up. Do you need anything? No. Okay. Some new friends, maybe. Um, okay, so moving on, what I want to do is bronze. I think I need to bronze my face. Bronze yourself. I already kind of did. I really like this. I'm going to go into the Pop 101. I can't remember if I love or hate this. I really just can't. And so I just need to figure this out. I'm going to take the blush shade 
which does look kind of bronzy for me and my skin tone. And I'm just going to work on the perimeter and then sculpt the nose with the one that actually says sculpt. Pop cosmetics sometimes work out really, really beautifully and sometimes they just leave you kind of puzzled. At least that's been my experience. Yeah, see that just does not blend very well. This is a nice color though, part of me is confused. That took a minute to blend in, but I will say this, I think I'm gonna keep this because I do really like this color and I feel that it's the powder's fault that made it hard to blend. I'm hoping, because I really like this color. It's like a nice blushy, bronzy, matte shade. I like that. Why did I think I didn't like you? That's why it's important to do these videos before you just get rid of things. Okay, I'm gonna do the sculpt shade. So I think when you guys see this, I will be in North Carolina. I'm so excited. I am doing a sister's trip with my older sister, Larissa, and my two younger sisters, Erica and Sabrina. We are all going to visit my sister who lives in North Carolina and she loves Carrie Underwood. So for her birthday a while back, I surprised her with Carrie Underwood tickets. That kind of thing means more to me than anything else, like just experience in life. That's where it's at, you guys. It's not just material things. And if you set this down, you know, the, the digital and the whole thing, like you'll look up and realize there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of life out there. There's a lot to enjoy and experience. And for me, music and concerts are my very, very favorite. I just love it. There's no better feeling to me than going and being in that energy. I also get to see baby Emily. Apparently, uh, Logan, is like the sweetest older brother and he loves to like try to share with Emily, but Emily's an infant and he doesn't really have that figured out quite yet, like that she doesn't need a Batman truck, you know? Um, so he'll try to like offer up like presents and it just doesn't work out. And for some reason, I think it's the sweetest, cutest thing ever. This contour is pretty nice too. I mean, it could be blended a little bit better, but I'm really not mad. So yeah, I will be in North Carolina. I'm gonna get to see James's hometown for the very, very first time. Super excited about that. This couldn't have come at a better time for me to step away from some of the madness and just be around people who know me through and through, who know my heart and my soul and are you know, pushing me always to be the better version of myself always and to grow you know, spiritually, emotionally, and as a human, and I do the same for them, and like, they're the best. I have my own built-in squad. And thank you to my mom for doing that for us, because to have three sisters that I'm so close with, like, I feel like the luckiest girl, because I love them so, so much, and they're just like my built-in, like, ride or dies, and it's the best feeling to know that I have that. So yeah, I'm excited, I need it. Okay, so moving on, I am gonna go into this Buxom Divine Goddess palette. This has the grossest texture and it's overpriced. And that's why I don't like it. This is their highlighter and it's just so Vaseline-y and it's really tough to just get it to sink into one area. And it does that thing that I talk about a lot where you can tell a good highlight from a bad highlight if it completely eats away at your foundation and all of your product. And that's what this one does. It like sucks it up or something. And it does this weird thing where you'll have like this bald patch. Let's put on some blush. <laughs> Let's go with some Vivid Baked Blush from Makeup Revolution. It's so shiny and like pink. I don't know. I just think this is maybe a personal preference. Like this is just not my style. They have a $5 matte blush that I love. This one is just so super shiny that it ends up looking just kind of strange on the skin. I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. Oh my God. This has separated around my nose so intensely. Yeah, this is just a weird one. It's just like kind of just not worth your money type of a thing. I don't like it, bye. This is the Blush Jelly from Revlon. It's literally like pudding. Jelly was like a thing for a minute 
and then they're like, we wanna join the party, we're Revlon. It's really not a highlight or what are you? Are you a blush? You're really hard to blend. My issue with this is it's just kind of not the greatest ever and it's a little late and like the blendability on it and the quickness of the dry down just does not give you much room to work with. So don't feel cute about that. Um, moving on, let's go to eyes. I actually want to take uh, two different eye primers, the Tom Ford against the Painterly Paint Pot. Now I love the paint pot, you guys know that, but I kind of wanted to see with shadow going on top of it, which one was better. So we'll do Paint Pot on one side, Tom Ford on the other, because at first I really, really loved the Tom Ford and then I wore it that one day and I was like, everything creased, I don't think I do. Yeah, dude, side by side, I can already tell you that I like the MAC better. Okay, so we're gonna go in to the Lorac Los Angeles Pro 4. To me, this was the most disjointed pro palette that they ever came out with. It just feels so all over the place, right? And then a lot of the palettes that were printed are just like, I don't know, it drives me insane that this is crooked and that these are crooked. Do you see that? Are you like breathing heavy right now? Because I sure am. I'm gonna take my trusty Scott Barnes brush that I found. Oh, I'm so happy to have you in my life again. And I'm gonna go into the shade Spice. These have a lot of kickback and that's pretty typical of all the rock shadows. They are very dusty. These ones in particular, I feel like edge on being a little bit softer. I feel when the company sold, sadly, a lot of the formula changed and that's pretty common, that does happen. It's not like a weird thing, but this was just not like the old palettes. And honestly, their highlighters are not like their old highlighters. So it was just really disappointing. What's not disappointing though, is this brush. This brush could blend in Claire's asbestos shadow beautifully. See, this brush is making me like question everything. Okay, so do you see dust? Not really sure I understand their whole setup with this, but I am gonna keep in the area of colors that they have stacked together. So I'm gonna go in dark chocolate on my fingertip, hit that outer edge. This is like a typical Tati eye look. You guys know, in the crease, outer edge. It just works with my eye shape to have darker colors toward the outer edge. Wow, now I'm liking it, this dang brush. I'm gonna take the shade Lagoon. So weird, the Tom Ford side is like gripping the product differently. I have some pretty intense fallout, fluff that off. I mean, this is nice, but it's like, it's you don't need this whole big palette. A lot of these colors, the tones of them are not my absolute fave. They are pretty, but the tone of them when you apply them just ends up looking a little bit muddy and here I'll put one of the silvers on. This is Silver Fox. It just kind of tones it down in a weird way. I'm sure some of you are watching this and you're like, Tati, stop. But this is really truly just in comparison to so many other shadows out there that I try. Again, this is not the very, very worst but out of the pro palettes, this is not my fave. And I think my chief complaint is that the formula has changed so much and that I wish it would go back to being just a tiny bit firmer and that the color connection and the color story would be a little bit more cohesive than what they've been bringing out because it just kind of feels like metallic, mattes, and then it's just like, it's just your eyes go all over the place and it's a little bit confusing. So there's that, take that review for what you want because I know, I know I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, part of that is really pretty, like I get it. But with the enormous amount of shadow palettes out there, it's just not the best, I stand by that. Okay, so we're gonna move in to liner. I'm gonna go in with Milk Makeup. This is the Longwear Gel Eyeliner. Okay, so this made it into the bin because of its 
really crazy, harsh, difficult time that you will have blending this, even though it comes with a smudgy where you are supposed to be able to really blend it out. You have to tug on the eye so, so much. The other issue that I have with these is they crumble quite a bit and they will kind of get trapped in your eyelash and then they do that thing where it's hard to whisk them away. Um, this is very long wearing, but it's just not my favorite retractable eyeliner that's long wear. Um, I do have a mascara I'm gonna try for you guys and I don't like this one, but I will say this, and this is like kind of an unpopular opinion. The Kush Mascara from Milk, I tried it probably five times. For some reason, that was one product that I didn't want to vocally be like, oh, I really don't like this. Um, so many people really, really loved it, and I just, I don't, I felt like I was getting something wrong, but honestly, it smudges on me in 2.2 seconds. It stings when I put it on, it clumps, it's just, Honestly, like one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried, ever, period, ever. And I don't think I ever said that on my channel. I feel so free. This mascara right here is a natural mascara that I bought from the detox market. And for a natural mascara, it's not terrible. My issue is, do we see it's already doing that thing? This stuff will get everywhere. It doesn't build your lashes up into the kind of volume that I personally like. Okay, I'm gonna do a metallic from Ofra called Purple Rain. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this on top because it matches so much better. This is Reverb. Okay, I have a felt tip pen called Stroke Brow. Now, the Urban Decay little guy that has a very fine felt tip pen works so beautifully and it makes you feel like you have this kind of microbladed effect. This, on the other hand, I have to say does not do that. It just puts too much of the product on there too soon. Oh my God. What? You don't like it? This reminds me of your April Fool's makeup video. No, not even, James, not even. It looks nice. Come kiss your wife. You can tell my mom to come out here. I want to have her think that I'm just serious about my makeup. Makeup? It's purple, kind of. I like that purple lipstick better than what I put on you or had you wear. Mm hmm. Are you filming this right now? Yeah. Oh, great. She's such a liar. Why are you lying to me? You hate it. She looked no, at me and she goes, oh. No, you know what I oh. said? I said, oh. I said I like oh, it I, better than oh, the one I picked for How you. nice. I love the color purple. How are you? I match your hair. I'm good. I've just got to put felt tip marker in my eyebrows and then I'm out of here. I'll just go digging through your drawers again. How's that? Well, okay. This is not working out for me. Oh my God. This is just really bad. What? Look at my eyebrows. What's the look you were going for? I was just trying a bunch of makeup that I don't like. <laughs> Obviously. The last thing I'm going to do is put on this dewy spritz from Ciate. Oh, that's why I don't like it. It just comes out too strong. Um, it's just the spray on here. Oh my gosh, it's got spots on you. Looks like spit. Yeah, this is not good. You guys, I need to go and supervise my mom cleaning house in the beauty studio. And uh, that's about that. So me and my crappy makeup, the stuff that I knew I wasn't gonna like, but we wanted like a one last try on with all of it together, just to like make sure. Actually, wait, there was one item that I am keeping and that's this. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun to see the products that I don't like in action, like a full face and not just like, oh, this one product was kind of weird, but I think it's, somewhat enjoyable to see it all together. So if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell, and go have a good one. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more of mom, I'm gonna link below the video where she picked out all of my makeup. Go watch that as well. All right, love you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.